Hello, besties, and welcome back. Welcome if y'all are new here. It is your girl, Jazzy J, on the mic, and this is Earth Vibes Tarot. This is a Capricorn-only channel, but you are all very, very welcome here. Sit back, relax, take a chance, smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below if you want to. Just don't forget to make sure that you guys are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. You guys, we have a lot of exciting new things coming to the channel starting this month. So make sure you guys have those notification bells turned on to all notifications so that way you guys can be notified when I post. So this is going to be your weekly look ahead reading for February 5th until the 11th Capricorn. We are going to start with taking a look at the astrology. I think that it is so important to understand how and why the cards come out the way that they do. And this really is attached to the astrological energy that we are experiencing. So I'm going to really go through this. This is going to be kind of a trial version of this reading. So this is going to be the first week. Everything will be time stamped. We'll, we will be grabbing cards as we talk through the energy. And then there will be an entire spread that we will do after. I will also have everything time stamped down below for you guys. But after this week, we're going to see how this does. I'm going to get you guys opinion. We're going to be kind of breaking up the energy. And the first part of this is probably going to end up in an extended version because of how lengthy it's going to be. So sit back, you guys relax and let's go ahead and get into the energy. Make sure you guys have like a little drink or a little snacky snack. I've got my Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar and we're 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 getting into it. So Mercury is going to be moving itself into Aquarius at the beginning of the week, as well as the sun being semi-sextile Venus. And it's important for us to really talk about what those things mean and talk about what and how the energy can really affect us. So with the sun sextiling, um, semi, semi sextiling, excuse me, Venus, we're going to be experiencing these soft and harmonious influences. Now, a lot of y'all are going to be like, we've been experiencing that already. Exactly. Exactly. This transit has been been going on for about a week or so now. January 27th was when the sun started um, this transit here with Venus. So that energy of something soft, the energy of something new, um, it's really coming out through this sun semi-sextiling Venus. The other thing that's attached to this is enjoying life, your family, your friends, your loved ones, and the energy feels beautiful as well as you feeling beautiful, Capricorn. So all of that energy that we've been talking about, all of that, that feel good energy that we've been picking up on, that is why, right? And it's going to be really important for us to understand how this energy is, is truly affecting us. So you have freedom, fertility, and spirit guide. Freedom, fertility, and spirit guide. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. So we're going to be still talking about this real quick. You are likely to attract someone who is in the same energy, Capricorn. And I'm really getting this, this feeling of where spirit is taking us because the energy is, it's literally getting ready to like talk about this, which is, is so interesting um, how this is flowing. But there is this knowing that's coming over you. There is this guidance that you have been receiving here, Capricorn. And it is in the energy of Repro uh, reproduction in the energy of love in the energy of abundance in the energy of what you are deciding to create this is a very passionate and creative energy that's coming not only from you um but just because of the 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 energy in that that you're experiencing right you're taking a hold of what's available to you and utilizing it to your benefit. And we move down into the Mercury conjuncting Pluto energy, which is really going to bring and add depth to the thinking process and the intensity of the way we think Capricorn. And this is going to allow us to uncover secrets through study, through research and through questioning others where this freedom 
is going to allow you to come from. Okay. Your freedom is going to allow you to come from this greater understanding, this depth in, in knowing. Being able to release yourself from what you have been feeling captive to or captive of. We're going to pull a couple cards here for this Mercury conjunct Pluto energy. Mm -hmm. So you have number 26, the light bulb, and then the fall full moon, which is talking about, yes, the time has come. This is accumulation of effort and completion, abundance and fulfillment and release. This is the fruits of your labor. Um, being rewarded in a focus on your needs, harvesting and moving on. There is an aha moment, right? There is a breakthrough. There is an epiphany. There is an illumination or an enlightenment moment that's happening here. So this Mercury conjuncting Pluto energy is really allowing you to free yourself here. Capricorn. The overall energy that that's floating around this next week is really beautiful because it's it's like it's there's layers. It's like the like an onion has layers. Right. Insert Shrek. <laughs> and onions got layers. Bottom of the deck is the stallion and the white wolf, which I want to point out is two beautiful, pure energies. This is of truth. This is of purity. This is of innocence. They know nothing but truth here. They know nothing but confidence. They know nothing but action and move ahead. Right. This is confidence. This is guidance. This is breaking free. Strong emotions, breaking free, driving force, believing in your power and being resilient. Yes, 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 Capricorn. So your thinking process has been so deep. You're going through these, these energies. You're going to be having a lot of dreams. You're going to be picking up on um, this energy through obviously questioning others, finding out information about other people, about the situations that you're going through and experiencing Capricorn. Um and it's going to allow you to really go, okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. And it. Um, the next thing I wrote was deeper understanding and clarity on astrology and the occult studies here. So a lot of you are going to be, again, gaining just deeper understanding of the information and energy overall. Your spiritual journey, right? The information that you're studying, things in your meditation, your yoga practices, all those, all those things. You're going deeper. There's more coming in. So I'm going to I'm going to tell you this um, mercurial energy that's going on. Mercury has a fixed star. There's a lot going on with Mercury this week. Um, and we know that Mercury is dealing with communication. It has a lot to do with electronics and travel, the energy of speed, the energy of agility, um, just energy in general, daily travel, um, or like rides or cars, cars, excuse me, things like that. So number 28, the man. This is masculine energy coming through. We're going to hold him. This could be you or the, the person that you're talking about. This could also be a boyfriend, a fiance, a spouse, love interest, masculine energy. Um, all the above. Capricorn. All the above. But this fixed star energy, it can bring about difficulty to the situation of trying to uncover this of of trying to have this clarity now this could be dealing with an outside energy an outside source that's coming in that could be trying to interfere with the clarity that you you actually have that's going on here strange dreams discoveries and journeys <clears throat> yeah Deception, snake, betrayal, silent treatment, back, backstab, seduction, sexuality. It almost feels like there could be a masculine energy coming into your life that's trying to block this forethought process here, Capricorn, right? Trying to block what you already 
are picking up on. And it's going to be important for you to really keep a keen eye on that. It's going to be important for you to keep your mind, your heart, and your soul open to how this may be affecting you. And maybe it's not a, um, a person. Maybe it's just your own, you know, internal thought of fear, right? And, and that can come through as deception and betrayal to yourself, right? Toxicity to yourself and you then not moving. So we have the energy of the book that's coming in. Number 26. So 26 is a popular number here. You have 26 coming out twice in this in this deck. This deck is quite large, so there's um, double sets of numbers here. But this is 26 paired with the 10 of diamonds or 10 of pentacles here. So this is talking about memory, hidden energy, mystery, unknown, intellect, philosophy, knowledge, Capricorn. There's a lot... Of hidden energy going on here and that's okay so the next energy we're going to take a look at going on this week is going to be happening february 5th into the 10th which is venus trine uranus um excuse me this is february 6th into the 9th february 6th into the 9th is venus trine uranus this is going to bring in unexpected possibilities of love and new romance um, or those of you that are already in a connection you could be seeking different pleasures with this partner right this could also bring in an abundance and windfall of energy here so this fertility i feel like you guys are um i'm so sorry guys um i feel like you guys are tapping into a part of your life that you don't know is going to bring you great love great ability yeah look this empress energy pairing right with the mother effing fertility card venusian energy like let's just bask in this for a second let's just bask in how spirit is coming together and really plugging in this energy and showing us that there is this attraction or attractiveness in yourself and, and others. This is a sense of beauty and charm and grace and relationships, magnetism, abundance, pleasure, and happiness. The same thing with this fertility card here. And we see this as we are taking a look at Venus trine uh, Uranus, February 6th until the 9th, new love or new romance or seeking more pleasure with the partner that you're currently with. So those of you that are trying not to get pregnant, I would be very careful. And those of you that are, I feel like this could be a really good week for you. Um, this is also a financial bonus or abundance or windfall of energy. And this is all coming through some sort of creation of your own will. Capricorn. This is absolutely beautiful. The moon is also going to be moving into Capricorn on February the 6th. So also watch out for that. I do encourage you guys to take a look at your natal chart um, and take a look at how the moon transiting in your particular energy is going to be important here. So we have the bear, the bear coming out here. So we have boss, CEO, judge, coach, mom, bear, protective energy, finances, benefits, bully, strong, large, hairy, affluent, and muscular. So we have number 15. We're going to put that to the side there and we're going to continue down um, and take a look at this energy. So this could very well be directly connected to this Venusian energy. Um, you know, you guys are uncovering this boss like energy, this this um, strong willed uh, type energy in your finances. And this could also be leading you to an advancement here as well. All right. But we're going to leave the bear in the middle. We're going to move to the next energy, which is Mars uh, sextiling Neptune. And this is happening February 5th into the 10th. Excuse me. We're going to take a look at this energy. Mars sextiling Neptune. So this is going to bring, which is also really nice in where I was going to kind of lead to, um, boost in sexuality um, and sexual charisma as well as sensuality here, Capricorn. So again, desires becoming filled, passions becoming filled, being very careful, um, especially sexually here. 
We have the element of air coming out here. So this is intellectual, idealistic communication. I feel like a lot of the things that you have been dreaming about, wanting, creating in your mind, these are bright ideas. These are bold things that are happening. You're having mental clarity. These things are going to develop into something quite amazing. And that is my friends going back to mercurial energy in Aquarius, right? Mercury moving into Aquarius. That is that influence of... Um, you know, the mind and the expansion, right? Especially with um, Aquarian energy here and talking about our hopes, our dreams, desires, technology, and that those energies moving together is really going to create an expansion in your mind, Capricorn. Your spirit guides are really helping you. And a lot of you are going to become, you know, more affluent, financially stable, things like that. Um, we're not going to keep this stack, but I do want to show you the top card here. Lots of beautiful energy coming out, but the uh, double rainbow, divine intervention. There's something beautifully happening this, this week that is divinely intervening, divinely guided. You're going to have to make a choice or decision here, right? Crossroad energies. This is also going to be creating increased strength and courage for your spiritual quest, helping you uncover more truth and, um, creating a fight for a cause or kindness. Now I want to be very, very honest here. We're going to move right back to the energy of mercurial conjuncting Pluto, um, adding more depth and intensity to our thinking process, uncovering secrets. So even with that fixed star, um, of Altar, you're still going to have a lot of heavy, planetary influence here to help you really see the truth to help you understand yourself a little bit more and to help you find this find and gain this clarity here so we have the queen of water which is death scorpionic energy it's fixed uh fixed sign of water this is three to six month months or during the fall October 22nd to November 21st. This ruling planet is Pluto. So again, the mercurial and Pluto energy, scorpionic energy, understanding, gaining greater clarity, depth. You know, scorpionic is representative of depth, transformation. Um, that's something that's usually unavoidable unavoidable and involuntary, right? So this is you needing to not have resistance to change in the information that you're coming, coming into. And also the psychic ability, psychic power, as well as the sexual prowess here. So just allow yourself to really go where spirit is trying to, to guide you. And I feel like that's a lot of what this week is talking about. Capital Cone. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as we move forward here, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Make sure you guys are leaving a comment down below if you would like to do so. Let me know how you guys are enjoying this style of reading. Of course, I will have the timestamps down below as well for you. So the next energy we're taking a look at here this week is the sun square Uranus, which is, <clears throat> or Uranus, excuse me, is February 6th into the 10th. And this, my friends, is where I was wanting to get. This is sudden changes and surprises and also excitement here in your life. Again, go where spirit's trying to flow you. This can also be creating for some people, Capricorn, increased intentions and anxieties, right? Because of these uncertainties, because of, of, of what they're, they're feeling. And because this is why the energy that we were just talking about, um, Mars, excuse me, Venus, uh, trine Uranus. It's important. Excuse me. Mercurial conjunct Pluto with those supporting energies. It's important for us to go deeper to understand right? Because those uncertainties is what's going to bring about this tension, bring about these anxieties, bring about this rebellion, bring about this abruptness, bring about these odd behaviors that we usually see with people when they don't know what else to do, right? Because they're feeling this tension of something new. They're feeling this energy of, of something's coming, something's coming, something's coming. Um, so they, they start to act out. That's, that's what I'm, that's what I mean. That's why this energy is so important for the understanding of what's next. Now you have the lion with majestic authority, self-esteem, pride, ego, overcoming difficulties, fair and just, devoted, heart-centered, number 15. So you have two 15s here, two 26s. So 15 and 26 could be of importance. 
um, the lion and the bear, both number 15. Wow. Very, very deep here. So again, this is why I said it's important to be open-minded Capricorn and flexible to what spirit is trying to show you and bring to you. So the next energy we're going to take a look at is mercurial sextile Saturn, which is February 8th into the 10th. So just a couple days here, but this is going to be good for clear thinking and judgment and concentration. So the 10th feels like a really good day. The 10th feels like a really good day here um, with all of this energy that's going on just to be be quite honest and quite frank. I feel like, you know, really going deep at the beginning of the week and having a deeper understanding, especially this weekend, Capricorn, just really going in, going hard on finding clarity and understanding who, what, when, where, why, and how, utilizing the energy at the beginning of the next week. And then, you know, as we approach the 10th, just really putting it all in because the 10th feels like a really really good day here. Um, it's mercurial sec semi sextile Saturn. Like I said, good for clear communication, judgment and concentration and profound discussions. Um, so a good day to have discussions as well. Communications with people. Anything we want to see with mercurial semi sextile Saturn. Number 24, the hummingbird. Enjoyment, be present. Rapid response, resilient, nectar, sweet goodness, lift out of negativity, lightness of being. Again, good for communication. Summer waxing crescent uh, moon energy. Major opportunities, celebrating the light, warmth, growth, bold, relaxation, enjoyment, expansion, positivity, building strength, Capricorn. It feels like you're in a good space here. It feels like you're going to have a lot of clear understanding of what moves you're going to want to make, what choices and decisions you're going to want to take here, right? And the new moon is going to be the new moon of February is going to be this week as well. And that's going to be falling on February the 9th. And this, this is also aligned with a fixed star. This is fixed star Castra. And this is going to bring increased ability to, um, psychic talents, psych psychic gifts, um, advancements in literature, also government and sports and astrology, um, and the public eye. So there's a good chance for, you know, name or fame, getting yourself out there um, or manifesting that on this new moon. So really big energy, good energy um, that's coming in here. Going to be just quite honest. Yeah, we have the compass, true north life path. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be experiencing like, life path work, life changing energy, um, and where, whoop, where they're supposed to be shifted, where they're supposed to be guided and where they are going to go here. So we're going to take a look at this last energy mercurial once again. So lots of mercury energy, nothing in retrograde, just lots of mercury energy. It's mercury square Jupiter, February 8th until the 11th. And this is going to bring high hopes for the future. So like I said, just really manifesting your dreams, your goals. And we have the sun. Absolutely. Yes. Energy Capricorn, um, fulfillment, radiance, success, vigor, big divine masculine energy as well. This is happiness. This is victory. This is success. Um, so just really, really, really good energy. Just make sure you're focusing in on the details of your own particular situation. Capricorn definitely uh, means for you have 24 again. So there's a lot of repeating energy. I'm just going to be honest. You guys could be running into um, something that just feels like it's in an alignment with you. Just saying. F paying attention to the minor details. Um, is going to be important, Capricorn, um, to help with the error of judgment and mistakes. 
Anything else you want to see? Oh my good golly gosh. We're going to end this uh, pre-reading, this astrological review of the week here with the energy of the ring, an agreement, pact, cycle, contract, partnership, a trust or an alliance, a commitment, uh, continuing on closure, promise, bond, and circular energy. I love this so much. Capricorn, make sure you guys take a little bathroom break, grab a little refill if you need to. And we are going to go ahead and get right into your 10 card spread. Besties, we are going to do the 10 card spread. Let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be taking a look at your overall energy Capricorn for the week. Um, we're going to do a tarot card for that. We do have the Oracle card spread out. If you guys want to see that, make sure you guys go to the timestamp ahead. And then we're going to take a look at your personal energy Capricorn this week, personal strengths, challenges and obstacles, career and ambition, relationship energy, financial energy, health and well-being energy, inner wisdom, and then the future um, outlook. So basically the next couple of weeks or so next week, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with an overall tarot card for the week, and we are actually going to read the card from the book because... I really think that this deck is interesting. So let's go ahead and grab one card overall for the week for Capricorn. One card overall for the week for Capricorn. Boom. So you guys got the Ten of Swords. So the Oracle card stated here, freedom, fertility, uh, and spirit guide. Again, if you guys want to see an overview of that, make sure you guys go to the time stamp ahead. So we're going to take a look at this 10 of blades energy. This is defeat, disaster, rock bottom, failure, ruin, endings. You've given it your best and you've fought the bitter end. The cycle has ended with painful finality, but it all is not lost. The lifeblood of the warrior drains into the earth and into the ruins below him, energizing them. His sacrifice is temporary and a new day shall come eventually when the legacy built on the intense energy of his life force will emerge with renewed vigor. Capricorn. There's freedom here. And there's freedom in what you are experiencing. There's freedom in what you have been going through, right? And all of that has led you to what you're getting ready to experience, this new energy. And we see that with fertility, right? We see that in this energy of spirit guide, you being guided to this new path. You have to, you have to, you have sacrificed and given it your all and, and been through a lot but it's also time and you have found clarity Capricorn in this, which is going to be super important here in making the decision to allow yourself to actually let go. So let's take a look ski here for Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, Jupiter, Jupiter. Show us Capricorn's energy here, Capricorn's personal strengths and challenges for this week. I'm going to do three cards here, please, Spirit. They're telling me to pull the card. So let's go ahead and see what wants to come through for Capricorn, Summer Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. February 5th until the 11th, 2024. 
So Capricorn, this is really big energy to start. Overall, you have got the king of freaking pentacles for the week. This is really big energy. I enjoy this for you. I like this. This is Taurian energy as well as Aries energy. This is really representative of you establishing and being in a financial state of abundance, a physical state of abundance and a physical state of clarity. Um, this is an this is an awakening. This is a rising up, right? This is a elevation, a um an, an abundant place to really be here. This is a beautiful energy. The four swords and the ace of wands are next. The four swords is representing uh, personal strengths here, Capricorn. I really feel like you diving and digging into this energy. Um, how can I put this? The internalness of yourself, the internal energy, the uh, meditation, the dreams, the quiet time. Your personal strength lies with your communication and your connection to spirit here this week. I feel like a lot of this is going to be through um, and happening through rest or happening through a period of um, prayer meditation. And then we see the Ace of Wands here. Challenges and obstacles. Are you going to take on this beautiful, abundant passionate, blessed new energy that comes in, right? And we want to make sure that we're not kind of throwing it around and being, you know, outlandish and boisterous with it. But it's it's truly about taking a hold of that passion, taking a hold of that pleasure and really standing strong in who we are and listening to our inner guidance, you know, and allowing ourselves to make practical life decisions for ourselves here Capricorn I really like this let's go ahead and clarify a little bit here tell us more about this four swords for personal strengths for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter for February 5th until the 11th 2024 mm -hmm. got the page of Pentacles. You have the power to be successful here. You have the power to really blossom with whatever this new energy here is. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Moon. So there is now a true pair here on the board from two different decks. The Queen of Pentacles to the King of, King, excuse me, of Pentacles. And then we have the energy of the Moon. There's... There's this sense of clarity. Um, there's this sense of understanding here, Capricorn. And really, how can I put this? Your strength is in knowing who you are and what you have to offer. Your strength is in putting your best foot forward here, right? Because you will be successful and you will be rewarded. We're seeing that this week. But this is also about not hiding who you truly are, Capricorn, really allowing yourself to be seen, allowing yourself to be heard, right? Allowing your, your message, allowing yourself to be put out there. Allow that for yourself. That's important. It's important for you to give your light in the way that spirit has been asking you to. There could be fear around that you know, judgment and, you know, being exposed, being seen, but it's, it's important to understand that you've gone through certain situations in order to have freedom from that. Tell us about this Ace of Wands here for Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups. It's like as soon as as soon as something comes, there's a fear of engaging in it. As soon as something gets to you, there is a fear of stepping out of your comfort zone. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles. There's like a fear of engagement, a fear of building, a fear of creating. Um, 
because of what may have happened in the past or because of what you may think is going to happen, what you may expect. Um, This can be a really pessimistic viewpoint as well. Um, And not allowing yourself to really experience life in the way that spirit um, has it here for you. So we're going to take a look here at career and ambition relationship and then financial matters here. So we have the eight of wands. The King of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune. So there's definitely going to be a lot of um, change that's going on here in abundance and success that you're possibly going to be experiencing in your career, in your ambitions. I feel like a lot of things may take off quite quickly or something may take off for you. There may be a lot of hits. There may be a lot of um, purchases, you know, things like that. Something that's really going to take you, your, your your success, your business to the next level, your career to the next level, something that is really going to make a change um, for the better here. Something that you've been looking for, something that you've been asking for. Um, it's it's not it's not going to be you know surprising. It's just it happens quite quickly here. Like things are really taking off and happening quite quickly. I feel like in the relationship standpoint here, Capricorn, there is going to be a lot of clarity and communication that goes on for you guys, which is which is going to be important. We talked a lot about that in the uh, astrological portion of um, the reading, which is also a reading as well. So make sure you guys check that out. If you have not already, the King of Swords here is again going to bring clarity to the situation. King of Swords is actually Aquarius and Capricorn energy based off of the traditional decadence. So this is there's there's a lot of processing and a lot of of thought, but truth that comes in here. And I feel like this is all spiritually guided. And a part of this may be where this Ten of Swords energy is coming from as well um, because of these endings and truths that are being being given. But we'll clarify this. In financial matters, we see the Wheel of Fortune. So definitely going to be a strike of luck or change in your life for the better. Um, financially, I feel like there is a, a fortune or a sense of abundance. There could be a windfall um, of money or something that comes in here that could change your life forever. Um, I'm really getting that if you allow it to come in that way. I, I feel that you could definitely have that with the eight of wands and the wheel of fortune kind of coming together with career and finances. So definitely a strike of luck, uh, of fate, strike of luck or fate, something that was meant to happen, but maybe popped off sooner than you thought. Something that's going to be really beneficial to you in the long run here. Let's take a look um, at this eight of wands. Too many. Look, that Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, though. Tell us about this Eight of Wands here. Yeah, I feel like this is something that you've been putting energy and effort into already. I feel like this is something that um, you've been dedicated to. You've been you've been allowing yourself to stay connected to. I really do feel that here. You have the Seven of Cups. And you also have the four of swords, which now you have double four of swords coming out here. Again, this feels like something you've been trying to manifest. You've been putting into motion with spirit you've been asking for. This is something that is based off of um, like spirituality. This is something of the heart. This is something that, you know, you've really wanted here. Some of you may have even, you know, prayed for this. This feels like a dream. This feels like a fantasy type of energy, something that you may have never thought would happen, kind of like once in a blue moon or when pigs fly type of situation. Like it finally happens. It finally happens. Tell us about this uh, Wheel of Fortune energy here, and then we'll go to the King of Swords just to kind of, yeah, Three of Wands. This is taking you in a brand new direction here, not only career-wise, but financially. So you guys could be moving, you guys could be relocating or changing jobs, changing career paths here. I feel like there is something about being able to um, save money, uh, something about growing 
growing a financial sense of stability here. Yeah, you have the Wheel of Fortune twice. Lots of repeats here. Capricorn, understand that you guys are highly blessed and favored and you're going to be receiving exactly what you have asked for. Something is coming in quite quickly as you are following your path, as you are following this, this journey that you're supposed to be... Um, wanting right it comes in and it's asking you well if you truly want this let's let's get it and go tell us about this king of swords here tell us about the king of swords here Mm hmm. The devil. There definitely could be some sort of release that's happening here, which again, we see with this energy of freedom and the energy of the Ten of Swords. This could very well be happening in the relationship aspect. There feels like there's a lot of closed offness, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. Um, I do feel like somebody is wanting to offer and bring forth like a dead ash truth. Like this is, I'm tired of holding back. I'm tired of not saying anything. It really is causing, you know, this, this, ugh type of energy the ace of cups don't be fooled the ace of cups here self-love right self-love self-worth four swords five of wands ten of wands yeah there feels like there was some sort of connection marriage agreement something that just did not work something that needs to be let go of this is bringing a lot of tension a lot of anxiety a lot of worry and concern to to the home to a, a place or a sense of stability here it feels like this person is honestly wanting to choose themselves as they break free from the 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 bullshit that is coming through with that and i definitely feel like you guys are receiving again some sort of a dreamlike fantasy energy that you've been waiting for here All right, so we're going to take a look now at your health and well-being, Capricorn, for the week, as well as inner wisdom and future outlook. Remember, this is not medical advice. We are just taking a look at tarot cards, general messages, and energies. This is not medical advice. We're looking at the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Four O Wands. Okay. <clears throat> so Capricorn health and well-being this week with the Knight of Cups. <sighs> Let's drink water. Let's increase our hydration intake. This week there may be this sense of feeling uh dehydrated or a decrease in urine flow. Um, or you're in production and this could be because of all the things that you could be engaging in all of the things that you could be doing here um, and experiencing yeah bottom of the deck is the ten of swords which would also be the overall energy here after shuffling the deck so spirit's not lying you guys are really letting go um, of something so in order to to really fulfill that it is about truly increasing that hydration, allowing yourself to do things that make you feel good, do things that um, increase your heart rate as well, like good for cardiac health, good for heart health, um, make sure you guys are eating for heart health. So, you know, fibers, um, legumes, um, vegetables, lean meats, and again, increasing your water um, intake here and then we are also taking a look at the inner wisdom reflection spirit's going to be asking you to reflect right reflect on your past reflect on the things that you've done reflect on the things that you've experienced here it's really going to help you make decisions this is also talked about in the first part of the reading Capricorn um, and we talk about really going deep within the self um, to find out the information that you need in order to make the decisions um, and clarity so you know becoming dehydrated is is something that could happen especially when you're doing a lot of a lot of different work here the the future outlook is the four of wands so there definitely looks like something you can celebrate something that you can you know write home about something that makes you feel really really good you know it lights up your soul um this is something that's it brings stability 
It brings joy. It brings happiness. It brings a sense of peace. Capricorn, I really, really love this. Really love this. Tell us more about um, this Knight of Cups here, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. Tell us more about the Knight of Cups. Mm-hmm. The Eight of Cups. Lots of lots of cups energy, lots of water energy, lots of heart energy, um, cardiac health. Maybe this again, walking, running, increasing your cardiac. Um, cardiovascular health. Uh, five of Pentacles. Give us one more for the Knight of Cups. Give us one more for the Knight of Cups. And we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, definitely take care of yourself this week, guys. Um, if you're prone to injury or accident, just make sure that you're being careful. Um, Again, increasing water intake, making sure that you're walking, taking your vitamins, minerals, doing a lot of self-care work. I feel like self-care is definitely going to be important. Um, I get this drying energy, so somebody's hair could be dry, somebody's mouth could be dry, lips could be dry. It's like because of whether it's because of the cold or what, it's just important to really do self-care this week. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn, definitely reflect on wins and losses that you've that you've gone through here in your past, opportunities that you've had in your past. Capricorn, allow yourself to go deeper, to find an understanding of why you made certain decisions, what made you happy, um, and where you're being called to now. Because I, I feel like there is a brand new opportunity that is bringing you a sense of happiness, a sense of greatness. But some of you may be a little bit confused or worried or concerned about this opportunity. But it, it's it's truly rooted in what you don't understand yet. Bottom of the deck here is the Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Empress. My, oh my. Tell us about the Four of Wands here. Tell us about the Four of Wands here, yeah. So there's definitely going to be something to celebrate, something that you can write home about, something that's going to make you feel incredibly happy here, Capricorn. You've got the Page of Swords, my loves. Oh my good golly gosh. There's definitely an offer opportunity. Somebody may be wanting to, you to travel or somebody may be wanting you to um, collaborate or do something. Five of Wands. There it is. There's a lot of tension. Don't make a hasty decision um, because you feel this energy cooking up don't make a hasty decision because you feel this energy coming up coming and bringing about change you have the empress here you have manifested this created this bought this energy into life beautiful capricorn whoa we're gonna close this out here for my besties we're gonna close it out with of course the deck that i have created there this is the only version of it and we only use it here on this channel so we're gonna see what capricorn needs to know how can we close this message out <laughs> big energy capricorn so you got that shadow work coming out smudging lots of cleaning lots of cleansing clarity it's a good week to start new start fresh we have that new moon you have the 60 energy with emotional blocks, heart blocks. Come on, Capricorn. Spirit is talking to you. You have healing with rebirth and then south energy. Oh, my God. There is a blockage that is keeping you from truly showing yourself. Time to go within, Capricorn. I'm going to leave this here. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will speak to you in the next one.